welcome. Welcome to the glorious Peak District, more specifically Edel. And we're setting off once again on the Pennine Way. Sadly, we're not doing the whole thing all in one go. Stephanie and I are gonna section, run, walk the Pennine Way over a series of weekends over the next few months. You ready for it? Let's do this. Let's do it. The plan over the next few weeks then is to tackle the Pennine Way in stages. There's a bit of a recce. Um, people that have watched the channel before know that I've walked it. I've walked around the Peak District many times. So has Steph as well. And um, the plan is use public transport as much as possible. Do it in day walk slash runs. And then when we get further away from home, make it two or three days depending on how we can work out public transport. Today's run slash walk is from the beginning, it's the southern terminus at Edel, and we've got two options. We're gonna head for Crowden and we'll see what time it is. And then maybe we'll head over Black Hill to Marsden and get the train from there, or possibly from Crowden, head down to Hadfield and then get the train back to Sheffield. So, let's see how the day pans out. Feels good to be back on the Pennine Way once again. I'm using the, uh, the GoPro Hero 8 Black as well for the first time. So fingers crossed, I've got the settings right. It may be a little bit underexposed, I'm not 100% sure. But it'd be interesting to see how, I mean, it's a very still day today, but whether there's any wind noise or anything like that, and also how stable the video footage is. We're now at Barber Booth. Next stop, Jacob's Ladder. We're just arriving at the base of Jacob's Ladder now. It's very busy today. So it's a really enjoyable section this. Uh, up over Kinder and then we're headed towards Bleeklo. Here we go. The first climb of the adventure. <laughs> Fun. That's the top of Jacob's Ladder. We're now going to head up onto Kinder Scout towards Kinder Low and the tree point there. What a view. The Vale of Edale looking amazing today. We've now reached the highest point on the run today, run slash walk, um, Kinder Low. Here's the trig point behind us. Tradition. Now the top of Kinder Downfall. 
It's turning into a really nice day as well. What a day, it's absolutely beautiful. Interesting to see how stable this footage is. We're now passing Sandy Hayes, and it won't be long before we're dropping off the uh, the northwestern edge of Kinder Scout. <laughs> I remember being on Kinder quite a few years ago now. Probably five, something like that, uh, with my friend Phil, aka Tideswell Man. And he was fell running at the time. And I thought to myself, I'll never get to that fitness. Never. I mean, I'm not quite there yet, but yeah, feels good to be up on Kinder running. The gum is telling me to turn. Not to love. Yes, Garmin, we're turning. One of the main motivations for doing this in sections is um, just last week, it finished today actually, the Montaigne Spine Race, which is a race along the Pennine Way. But there's a particular version of that called the Spine Challenger. It starts down in Edel and it heads up to Hordraw, just near Hawes in uh, Wensleydale there. And 2020, that's our plan to enter that race. Let's see how good the wind protection is on this. We're now heading off. Waving goodbye to uh, the majestic Kinder Scout, this is surely. How was your first experience of the Western Edge? Yeah, windy. Windy. <laughs> <laughs> this sort of path pretty much all the way to uh, the Snake Pass now the northern edge of Kinder and the Ashup Valley Mill Hill with the GoPro you're probably not going to be able to see Manchester off in the background there but it is over that way. As I was saying, this is the first time I've used the um, GoPro Hero 8 Black. Um, it does have inbuilt wind protection, but it's never good, is it? So please forgive the wind noise on this first one. Um, I only bought it last night. Um, I've got some wind protectors that I need to stick to it. So the, uh, the following videos with this should be a little bit better. I love this time of year. Lots of daylight and the cotton grass is out. It's nice to bivy amongst it. We are fast approaching the snake road now. There's quite a lot of cars here. Not surprising though, as I've said already, it's a beautiful day. Maybe grouse there. I think his parents just jumped out there and then um, Steph just jumped out of his skin. <laughs> Busy in the peaks today. We're 
Everything good? Yeah. We're just heading through Devil's Dyke now, up onto Bleaklow. We're at the really interesting bit now, not far from the top of Bleaklo, where you're crisscrossing the little stream here. And now they're getting the muddy sections. I've walked this many times in the past in the winter spine race, which happens in January. This place would be like a quagmire. One issue that I had with the, the trusty old GoPro Hero 3 Silver was that you had to pull the battery every now and then. And looks to me like that's still a thing for GoPro. Uh, and this is the first GoPro I've bought in years, but yeah, I've had to pull the battery out twice today to uh, get the thing to turn on. Maybe it's a firmware thing, but yeah, you think after all these years, and all these iterations of the GoPro, that that would certainly be a thing of the past. We're now arriving at Bleaklow Head. We've just been taking in the views. Beautiful now, off towards the east edge of Kinder, Crookston Knoll. You see Wind Hill over there and Stanage right in the distance. Beautiful. You see the Home Moss communication tower as well. You're not going to be able to see these things on GoPro, sadly. Um, but they are there nonetheless. It's been a really enjoyable day so far. We're about three and a half, four hours in, something like that. And Gom is telling me to turn. Welcome to Bleaklow, Steph. All right, got it. Shush. <laughs> the game over these uh, section hike slash runs is uh, that we made a deal that we'd walk the uphills, walk some of the flat and run it, but run the downhills. Um, like I say, I've walked this before. Um, but it's good to come back with Steph so she knows what um, is in store on the spine. And you know what, it'd be nice to walk it again as well. I think I'd like to walk it. There goes Garmin again, getting involved. I think I'd like to walk it north to south. But yeah, it's just nice to do these small sections. Um, quite manageable in a day at the moment. Yes, Garmin, I'll turn. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna enjoy it over the next few weeks. Um, just do a day walk slash run for the first like three sections. So we're doing Edale, Crowden, Crowden, possibly Hebden Bridge. Um, Hebden Bridge, maybe Gargrave or something like that. Just so we can link it up with the trains. When we get down to Crowden, we're gonna walk to Hadfield and um, get the train there. But thinking further ahead, when we do the Gargrave section, into the Yorkshire Dales. Um, we'd probably split that over a weekend. Gargrave, Horton and Ribblesdale, and then to Hawes, perhaps. And as I said earlier on, the spine race goes all the way along the Pennine Way, but the Challenger only goes to, I say only, it goes up to Hawdraw, just beyond Hawes. So that's the main area that we need to, uh, to recce, really. And then 
just see how we feel see how much we can manage in a day running this one's going to be a short one because we uh, had some stuff to do this morning so we set off from uh, door station door totley a little bit later than planned but it's just a beautiful day and we've got so much daylight left left but we want to make the next few sections um where's steph gone <laughs> we want to make the next few sections manageable so we don't get don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves speaking of getting too far ahead i better wait <laughs> Yep, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> you lead. about to head down Torside Clough now. I've been saving the knees for this section because if you've walked it before you'll know that it's uh, it's a steep one. It's a beast to come up but um, yeah the uh, the knees and uh, shins will take a smashing heading down this one. Amazing views off down towards the valley now. This section's quite quite rocky, so pit, bits of it are unrunnable really. We were just discussing about how tough this must be in winter when the spine usually takes place. This is that little bit that uh, punishes the knees a little. We're now down in Longdendale. It's Torside Reservoir just down there. And the Pennine Way goes across the, uh, the reservoir wall there and then heads up Crowden towards uh, Lado Rocks or Lado Rocks, depending on how you want to pronounce it, and then eventually onto Black Hill. In a moment, we're going to leave the uh, the Pennine Way behind for the day, and head down to Hadfield on the Longdendale Trail. We've just crossed the um, the Trans Pennine Trail, the Longdendale Trail, and um, we're going to run down to the Down Wall, Torside Reservoir, and um, that's where today's run is going to end. Run slash walk, <laughs> and we're probably going to stop the trackers here, and then pick up the trail in a moment. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, so far so good. And this was the length of uh, day one when I walked it. I stayed in a B&B just up the road there. But I believe it is like the traditional day one of uh, most people's Pen Am Way adventure. Easily accessible by transport links, I'm hoping. <laughs> We've not got home yet. <laughs> what a day. It really did turn into a beautiful afternoon. It's quite cloudy this morning. I've even bought water, a waterproof jacket. I uh, wasn't sure how warm it was gonna be. There was quite a breeze, so um, extra layers just in case. But no, it's turned out absolutely stunning. And yeah, 
that ends day one. We've stopped the trackers now. So the plan is, what do you reckon, Steph? I think the, the plan will be that we um, get back here next time and then set the trackers going again. So when we got off the train at Edel, we didn't uh, start the trackers until we got to the old nag's head. So um, yeah, I think we'll say goodbye for now. What do you reckon? see you next week possibly i mean i'm not quite sure when i'm gonna get around to uploading this video but as always thanks for watching we'll speak to you all again very soon bye for now